Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. Today we are going to create a program that prints the right side pattern. Let's begin. Let us start by creating a variable of type int and say int and call it n equals to let's say 6 and then now we can create our for loop. So we will use a nested for loop in this scenario. So we say for and then int i equals to one and then semicolon. And then as long as i is less than n, which is this number here, and then another semicolon and then increment i by one. And then we can open our code block with these curly braces and say sys out. This one will be responsible for taking us from one row to the other. And then next, we use another for loop inside our main for loop. And then we could say for, and then we can give this variable a different name and say uh, s int s equals to one, and then semicolon. And then as long as s is less or equal to n minus i, and then s plus plus and then we open this code block again with this calibrasis and say sys out and then this one we will use a print method and then this will be responsible for generating the spaces before the star and I will explain all this once we finish writing this code and then the next thing we do now is to use our last fold up here so we say for and then int we call this one j equals to 1 and then semicolon and then as long as j is less or equal to i as long as j is less or equal to i and then another semicolon and then increment j by 1 then we sys out this one as well by opening this code block and say sys out and then this one will be responsible for printing out the star so we say star and then let's uh, save this one and explain what we just did so as you can see we have our star and it has six rows this one one two three four five so this is five rows because we say it's less than if we say equal to then we will have we will have six so if we say equal to here equal to n less or equal to n then we will have six rows so we can run this and we'll have one two three four five six so now that we've established that this code is working then let's explain so the first thing I will do is because you cannot see that there is a space here and here and here and here. So I can put, uh, let's put S here so that you can see the space. Now you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five spaces and one star. And then the next one we have two stars and four spaces and then three spaces and three stars and so on until the last row. So let's explain the process. So I created this here so we have our i and then s here and then in the first iteration the space there are one two there are five spaces and one star so we have one star in five spaces and then the next one we have two stars and four spaces and then the next one we have three stars and three spaces and then the next one we have four stars and two spaces and so on and so forth until the last one where, which we have zero spaces and six stars so as you can see the relationship between this and the value of n which is this one so i put it here the value of n so you can see that n is six and when you say six minus i you get five you say again 6 minus 2, you get 4. You say 6 minus 3, you get 3. You say 6 minus 5, you get 1. 6 minus 6, you get 0. 
So we can see that uh, for you to get a space, you have to say n minus i. That's why we did here. We say n minus i. And that will be responsible for creating the space for us. So now that we no longer need this, we can remove that and just print it. So anytime you want to print a, a right or left side triangle, just try to implement this and you will be able to figure out the logic behind it. And that's all for today, guys. And I will see you in the next video.